Good morning, everyone. Three mothers, along with their attorney, told reporters they wish this press conference was not necessary. I'm going to tell uh, I'm going to tell my health story. A story um, like dozens more health issues they say changed lives forever. Our son, who was incredibly sick, who kept having asthma attacks, who was so weak that he could barely walk some days. Um, Sir, um, showed that he had Graves' disease and uh, he had to be on heart medication for six months. Stacy Mullen Deland was a teacher here at Sky Valley Education Center. Her two children also attended the school. Both suffered severe health issues while there, just like Erica Smith Simmer's kids. I never put it together until my daughter had hormonal issues, thyroid issues diagnosed with diabetes, passing out at seizures at school. And then you bring it to the people you trust. And they brush it off. They dismiss you. How dare that happen? We're trusting you. The lawsuit filed against the Monroe School District and the state blames chemicals called PCBs. The chemicals outlawed decades ago for health hazards were commonly used in buildings like this school. The lawsuit claims the district knew the school's infrastructure needed repairs long before any were ever made. The Sky Valley parents trusted the state and the local agencies to provide and maintain safe school buildings. The state and local governmental agencies failed the Sky Valley community. The families are also suing Monsanto, the sole manufacturer of PCBs. They're asking for money and for Monsanto to be punished, even though they believe the damage is already done. People need to know that we were in an environment unknowingly that hurt our children, hurt our teachers. Last year, the school did make some major repairs to deal with this issue, and we just spoke with one of the mothers who was walking her child into the school. She said she has spoken with the principal who has been very open about the problems that did face the school, and she says they now feel comfortable continuing to go here. In Monroe, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.